Come January 20th, new president, all the attention around that. Do you think that that attention will wane from wanting to further uh, to prosecute a trial uh, against the president? Well, again, uh, the, the egregiousness of the actions of the president, which, as I say, not not us, but Cheney, I think, really captured uh, very, very well. Uh, I think it's, it's important that we act. And if, if, in fact, Mitch McConnell is thinking of the long term ramifications, as Chuck was referring to, then I think he would choose to uh, continue. And therefore, under the 14th Amendment uh, and under impeachment itself, he would be unable to run for office. Uh, I think, uh, frankly, yeah. Senator McConnell and others are worried about his long term adverse impact on the party. The, the president put out a statement while you were all debating today, urging there'd be no violence, no law breaking, no uh, violence, vandalism of any kind. He's addressing reports that some of his supporters may be planning further action. Is anything is he relevant anymore in terms of uh, uh, cooling the temperature on this? Is there anything he can say that might change uh, the outcome of all this? Well, you would hope so. You would hope that his followers uh who are, are obviously very, very strongly influenced by him. That's our whole contention uh, on the actions that happened at the Capitol on the night of the 6th and the morning of the 7th, that they were impelled uh, by uh, the president of the United States. So clearly he has a lot of influence, and hopefully uh, he will urge uh, the, these folks who are talking about uh, violence, uh, insurrection on the, on the 17th and the 19th, and perhaps violence on the 20th. Hopefully he will... Uh, legitimately and sincerely and uh, work with his uh, people uh, to convince uh, folks that they ought not to be doing this. I will tell you, though, that there are some of these folks that I don't think anybody has any influence over other than, as he did uh, on Wednesday, stoke their anger, stoke their mission of uh, uh, preventing the Congress from acting on confirming the Electoral College vote. Uh, but, but if he turns on them, uh, which I think he is very uh, reluctant to do, as he was in Charlottesville, because they are such a strong part of his base that he motivates uh, politically. And uh, so I, right. I, he's, he's in a tough situation uh, in, in that sense. But he ought to do the right thing. But so often he does not do that. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.